Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's another homebrew product. This one is made by a local dude called Biwa back in 1998, I think. It's a high voltage uh, DC power supply and it goes to 30 kilovolts. So I expect this one to be really, really interesting to play with. Look at that. The connector is definitely super, super nice. I think we got a very, very good isolation distance because the, you can see how deep this is. And then it goes all the way in and out here as well. This plastic part goes all the way into the other part. And all the way in there we got the metal. I mean, that is a fantastic connector. I wonder where to get this type of connector. We've got some numbers written on it. That is definitely interesting. Because I always wanted to have these connectors for my uh, high voltage uh, stuff. And... Um, yeah, we got two. This is probably an output on off or something. And that will be mains, maybe. Well, that will be the make micro amps output or something. It says uh, the output impedance is 200 mega ohms. So it's not for high current, it is for static experiments. And that is exactly what I need this one for. And here on the top, we got a little warning information here about you must use a plug with earth ground to chassis otherwise the chassis is going to be charged and also i really like the idea we have the i think this is more or less the schematic of the entire unit so if this is uh, true it's actually really smart for me because we'll have the input here we have some Rectifiers, that makes high voltage DC probably. Uh, this is probably low voltage DC, right? And then you have a voltage regulator. And that is the one you control with your potentiometer. Then you have a little oscillator. And a transistor. And then you have your high voltage. But it looks a little bit like it's... Uh, AC, well, oh, here's a tripler. Okay, so the tripler makes it DC. So that is how it is. And the output here seems to be unregulated. We haven't got any feedback going back to this system, but we have something here and something there. Aha, uh -huh, so this is the switch or I don't know. I think we should definitely go and have a look what is going on inside and uh, yeah it says here it's a 30 kilovolt power supply it's i think this is 98 and then the second month and this is the name of the designer and the builder and on the back we don't see anything really fascinating it seems we have a little bit of reuse of this case and a little bit of extra holes and some air holes I don't know exactly how to open it, but I think it's just those those two here and we're probably going to get in, right? I don't know exactly what I expected, but this is a little bit different, maybe. <laughs> of course, this is a um, homebrew super product, wouldn't you say? Well, this meter is really funny, the mounting angle. Well, that's probably just the design of that uh, meter. What I think we got is uh, a little temperature tripper protector there. And uh, on the ba back side of that screw down there, if we look really, really careful down there, can you see there's this uh, transistor? And uh, there you have it with a little 
driver oscillator for that and uh, I don't know exactly what is uh, going on here it's uh, but that is probably the the oscillator driver circuit for that field effect transistor or a probably just a normal transistor this is a uh, well a television uh, transformer uh, it's a high voltage television transformer and its uh, output goes to this tripler the ground sound of the uh, ground side of the tripler is the blue wire that one is connected via some resistors and some stuff to the amp meter and uh, a little additional isolation here and then it's of course the chassis ground that is because you don't want to lift the amp meter away from uh, ground so that is why the amp meter is in ground we got a little bit of uh, protection diodes down there and then uh, well well that will be the mains entry or transformer for that we have a little bit of and diodes and capacitors and stuff like that and then we have a little dc variable uh, yeah, power supply here and that is doing the supply voltage for the output transformer that is stepping up everything right so and i believe this little switch we have here is just an like an on off or enable of the dc because see it goes to all that uh, DC stuff here all over the place maybe we'll have the high voltage uh, uh, dividers for the voltmeter in this little box and look what I find in I found inside the box I found all the schematics those are photocopies and um, let's try and see if I can make any sense of any of this i'll try and see what i whatever i can do what is that so this is the thermo we've got the different wire colors and all that kind of stuff hey we got the date is 97 and here we go with some other stuff maybe i should scan this and put it in the end of the video or something like that maybe i will think about that see that will be the voltage and the voltage variable potentiometer here and then can't wait to find the the switcher here we go so yes it was a field effect transistor and this goes to something and then uh, this is the triple and this is the voltage measurements and this is the output Oh, we even have uh, the number for that uh, super sexy connector here. This is called radial, and this is the number for the for the connector for the chassis, and this is the cable part. How nice! I really wanted to have that, and that is um, I don't know exactly what is going on. Low voltage power supply. Oh yeah, down. Aha! Uh -huh. So here it is. This is the field effect transistor signal that goes to this one is the field effect uh, drive oscillator right so i was right inside this little palm case i find uh, all the voltage measurement and voltage divider resistors and uh, I think this is the current limiting resistors for the output that goes in here and then back to the actual output wire here. And it's of course the shielded uh, cables. That um, output connector here is uh, during or according to my notes here called Radial and then R331405. Uh, I think this is an old number today. They're called a little bit different, but they look exactly the same. And uh, that means this connector here is only rated 10 kilovolt unmated and 20 kilovolt um, mated. 
and that is of course with a huge safety margin and uh, so he just figured out that well okay uh, 30 kilovolts uh, that will do fine so probably it will but it is not certified for 30 kilovolts what else did i find um this chip here is called an lm556 this is a like a dual 555 so to speak so it's actually two timers in one and uh, that is because you have um you have two things you want to uh, achieve here you want the repeat frequency but also the pulse width to be adjustable so that's what he's doing here two uh, two timers i should probably show the schematic once again here is the schematic of that and this one here is the mosfet and here, i think yeah here we go so this is the pulse width he wants 10 to 44 microseconds and this is the repeat frequency he wants 10 to 60 microseconds so this one triggers the other one not really i mean you can say what you want about a lot of things here and it is probably looking a little bit like a death trap and all that i, I mean to be honest <laughs> i have probably also seen worse but since this is a very high voltage supply i mean we need a lot of cleaning up to uh, be going on here before i can use this for something more serious but I really like the, the schematic, really contain everything that I need to be able to debug this, the measurements and everything here. So uh, I, I think I will definitely go and uh, power this up in a few moments. So let's turn off the light here and let's try and see what's going on. So what I have done here is... got this ground going around there so it can't really reach a super intense voltage it will then uh, jump over so that's uh, more or less my first idea I can add also an extra grounding let's try and plug this in let's turn this on here and I feel that this is mains and then nothing is going on this one is all the way down and i believe if i turn this yeah the oscillator starts and you see a little bit of voltage and then i can crank it up here yes that seems to be working the voltmeter goes up and after about five or ten kilovolts it should hammer over here and we should go a little sparky spark so let's hear what happens here this is five here you go. It works. <laughs> so I calculated the distance. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit impressed it works. How cool is that? Now we could add a little capacitor and make a little sparkity spark. Let's try with a lot more distance and see what happens. So this is uh, about 15 uh, millimeters. Ooh. It actually uh, hammers over somewhere else, probably in the transformer. I don't know if you can hear this. This is not so good. Okay, so <laughs> I can't do all the kilovolts <laughs> it was supposed to. Oh, that's just how it is. So I think I'm back to like 10 millimeters. It is not supposed to sound like that at all. <sighs> well, well, well. That was fun, as long as it lasted.